Hey guys, I am Preksha Thakkar and I am back with another episode of Crack IT all about campus placements. Today we have with us a very dynamic, versatile and positive personality. So with no further delay, let's welcome Utkarsh Khatche. He is from computer department and is currently placed in Futurance. First of all, a very heartiest congratulations to you for this amazing achievement. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pratiksha. Uh, thank you for this warm welcome. Yeah. So, let's begin. So, Utkarsh, would you like to tell the audience something about yourself? Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am Utkarsh Prashant Karche. I am currently in fourth year of my bachelor's uh, in computer engineering at JSPM Rajeshri College of Engineering, Pune. I did my diploma in computer science uh, at Government Polytechnic, Pune. And in placements, I am able to crack uh, Futurance Technologies, IBM and Capgemini. And I am here to uh, share my experience with you. Yeah. yeah, that was great. So what are the technical and non-technical skills that you have developed so far in these four years? Okay, so uh, in the technical uh, skills, uh, I have developed C. Uh, the I have I have gained the knowledge of C, C++, data structures mainly, um, Python and SQL. Uh, these skills uh, I, and also uh, PHP. I am a full stack PHP developer, so I have knowledge of uh, PHP, uh, AJAX, jQuery, and uh, other HTML stuff. Uh, Talking about non-technical uh, skills, uh, I have developed uh, communication skills and I have learned about soft skills so far. That's about my non-technicals and technical skills. Yeah. Uh, so from when did you start preparing for the placement drive and how did you prepare for it? Uh, I, I have started my placement preparation from December 20. Uh, 20. So, uh, first of all, uh, our college is uh, quite supportive. Uh, they have uh, tie up with some companies like uh, Talentio Campus Credentials, which provides aptitude training. Uh, so, my aptitude preparation is uh, all of uh, that uh, college has provided. And uh, for technical skills, um, I, I have mainly uh, uh, learn my technical skills from YouTube. So I would like to suggest some uh, playlist for you. Uh, yeah. So first of all, for data structure preparation, uh, the best uh, playlists are uh, Code with Harry, Simple Snippets, and third one is Apna College. And uh, for uh, DBMS, uh, the uh, best playlist according to me is uh, Gate Smashers. And uh, for uh, computer networks preparation, uh, uh, it is like ne Neso Academy, the channel name. Yeah. So that's that's my preparation for uh, placement. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for sharing the side of playlists and all. So now talking about your placement at Futurens, how did you apply for it, and what are the roles they are offering? Futurance has come for uh, on campus to our college. So uh, to apply for Futurance is like any other company uh, on campus. And Futurance is providing only one role, which is uh, data engineering. That's all about Futurance. So now talking about your placement at Futurance, how did you apply for it? And what are the role, roles they are offering? So Futurance is offering a data engineer role and to apply uh, for uh, Futurance is like very easy. Uh, it is uh, on-campus company to our college. So it is the same process like any other company to apply for. Okay. So how many rounds were there in the interview process? Okay. So the first round is like uh, coding in the, uh, coding round. So in coding round, there are 10 MCQ questions and two coding questions and two SQL queries that uh, we have to write. After that, uh, after 10 days, I think, uh, 
there are technical interview for 30 minutes and uh, after a technical interview uh, hr interview was there for uh, 30 minutes yeah okay so can you brief your experience of all these three rounds that you had okay so the first round is uh, coding round so they have given two hour time and uh, they they did not have any quantitative aptitude questions verbal questions they they only have uh, uh, mcq fundamentals uh, of uh, like uh, computer science fundamentals questions uh, based on dbms or operating system and computer networks after that there are two medium to hard level questions uh, coding questions and uh, after that uh, uh, two sql queries uh, which has medium to hard uh, uh, yeah so uh, after after that uh, if if uh, one got selected for a technical interview technical interview is for 30 minutes but it's very tricky so uh, they 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 ask about um, first first 10 minutes they they only go through your resume they ask questions about your resume and uh, after that uh, they actually data engineering is uh, in in data engineering uh, you have only two uh, uh, technical skills to master. Uh, first is Python and second is SQL. So um, they only ask questions based on Python and SQL, but it's like very tricky, like to prove me wrong, so, like, like that. And we have to stick to our answer. We have to be confident about that. Uh, after that, uh, they they gave uh, uh, two uh, code snippets. Uh, first one is for Python, and second is uh, SQL query. So uh, we have to uh, uh, give them the out outcome outcome of that uh, snippet. Uh, that's all about technical interview. Uh, it's it's not uh, more than uh, half an hour. Uh, Thirty minutes is. Uh, uh, yeah, they 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 only took thirty minutes to uh, for a technical interview. Uh, after that, HR interview was there. Uh, in HR interview, first they validate our information uh, that we have given correct information or not. Then uh, HR interview uh, in HR interview they have asked typical HR questions like where do you, uh, where where do you want to see yourself in next five years like that. Uh, and after that, uh, they brief us about our roles and responsibilities and our package, uh, how, how the package uh, uh, they have provided. They, so yeah, that's all about HR. Uh, it only lasts for 30 minutes, HR also. Okay. Okay, so what, uh, what were the projects that you mentioned in your resume and what kind of questions they asked regarding your project? So talking about my project, uh, my resume is totally based on projects. I have no, uh, I, I have not, not done any internships at all. So uh, I have mentioned five projects. Uh, the uh, first two are uh, in Python and uh, other third are in uh, PHP uh, full stack web dev development. So. Uh, actually, uh, what happened in uh, technical interview, they have go through the link that I have mentioned, uh, like I have done this website. So they have uh, go um, went to the that website. They have checked uh, how, how I developed that. And they asked me the question, uh, is it re responsive or not? The website is responsive or not? Uh, what, what, uh, what you have developed in this particular website? Like they have go deep through your resume. So yeah, that's about project they have asked. So have you completed any certification courses and do you think are they necessary uh, for uh, a person to add value in their resume? Yeah, uh, having certifications is like cherry on the cake uh, in your resume. Uh, I have done uh, uh, Microsoft uh, uh, certification uh, for uh, uh, Python programming and uh, IBM certification for uh, Python basics for data science. 
Yeah, they uh, technical in technical interview they have asked me about uh, the certifications and what did you learn uh, on that course like that they have asked. Okay. Yeah. So, what were the common mistakes that most people do? while in an uh, while they are giving an interview which may lead to lose their selection opportunity so uh, the most common mistakes that i have observed many people do is that they put a lot of stuffs in their resume that they cannot justify so uh, if if you are not justify the stuff you are putting in your resume then uh, tr will catch you in a minute and that's the worst thing that happens to you in the interview process. So not mention, keep your resume minimal and uh, you have to just you you have to justify your resume. So that's that's the one mistakes many people do. Yeah, okay. So uh, in the college, did you participate in any co-curricular or that? extracurricular activities? Uh, for co-curricular, uh, while I am in second year, uh, I have participated in Smart India Hackathon, but uh, our idea got rejected on college level only. So, and after that, the uh, whole college was online due to COVID. So I haven't participated yeah. after that. Yeah, so how was your college life and uh, this four years journey at RSCOE? So uh, uh, I did my diploma, so I got admission in direct second year. So uh, in college life, uh, I, I have only seven months in offline. <laughs> so uh, after that, uh, whole uh, uh, college went online. So. Uh, uh, one thing I want to tell uh, about our college is that our staff is immensely supportive. Uh, if you have any doubt, any query, uh, just uh, ask to the st staff. And in the placement, while in the placement also, uh, you can directly call our TPO or TPC uh, and you can resolve your uh, doubts. Any mistakes? college life or the experience that you would to like like to share with the C, uh, juniors okay so in the college uh, i haven't done any mistakes but while i, I was doing my diploma i was very distracted uh, like uh, I, I have the attitude like uh, life may ho jayega kuch to but uh, uh, that's uh, you 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 should not have this kind of attitude uh, like uh, but in college life, uh, in JSPM, uh, uh, I was focused uh, uh, in achieving my goals. So that's that's the good thing. Yeah. So what message would you like to give uh, to our budding engineers and your, all your juniors? Okay, so the first advice I would like to give is never lose hope. Uh, there are many more opportunities yet to come and our college uh, provide many opportunities like uh, in last week uh, we had Amazon uh, 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 interview, uh, sorry, Amazon first round uh, for SDE role. So never lose hope and uh, uh, if, if you are like um, Sometimes what happened, uh, we haven't get selected for the company. And uh, so remember just one thing. Uh, That's all. Yeah, so what are the main goals of your college and all the students? Thank you so much.